I apologize for the darkness. As you see, I am in the room and there is some light. It's just getting ready to rain and you turn on lights in the house and sometimes it don't transfer to the camera. So um, I agree with you and I disagree with you. Because for every 15 things that you can find to prove that we are different, there's another 100 things that prove we are the same. First of all, hate, uh, discord, and disrespect, that's all a creation of greed. That's a man-made power struggle between those haves and the have-nots. So in other words, we are the same. The only differences are brought up. In other words, if we don't look at each other as different but the same, we both love our mothers. We both love our kids. We both love our families. We both hate people at times, but we still care for them. So for every 15 things that make us different, there's got to be 100 or more things that make us the same. You bleed, I bleed. Somebody punch you in the nose, that pisses you off. Someone punches me in the nose, that would piss me off. Somebody attacks my house, that would anger me. Somebody attacks my neighbor, that would piss me off. Somebody attacks you, that would anger you. Someone attacks your neighbor, that would piss you off. So for everything that makes us different, there's got to be at least a hundred things that make us the same. And those common bonds make us equal. Not just in our needs and wants, because we all need and want something. We don't have it all. See what I'm saying? So for everything that makes us different, there's millions of things that makes us the same. And if more things make us the same than make us different, then what's the difference? Is it the color that makes us different? No. Because white people can tan and get black. Black people can't bleach their skin. I'm going to prove that on YouTube next week. So listen, what I'm trying to say, Koso, because I like you. I like you, or else I wouldn't have subscribed to you today. Or else I wouldn't have reached out that friend invitation today. We've been this route from the beginning of your inception on YouTube till today. Now, me and Father Judgment are like oil and water. Not because water is clear and oil is dark. It's because we have so many things that make us different. But what brings us together and make us the same is what makes every human being the same. The passion and the love we have for our family. The respect we have for others. And the fact that if we see something that may not be straight, or funny, something funny, we will comment on it. If I don't like something Father Judgment is saying because it's too close to a race issue, because it's uh, radical, because he's bashing Obama, whatever, whatever I have my dislikes with Father Judgment are, that's just my dislikes with Father Judgment, but I like Father Judgment. Our differences, in other words, make us the same. And you might not understand that because I don't know all his differences. He don't know all my differences. But we have this one common goal, and that's to better the American people. How we go about doing this is different. But the outcome to make people think in a different light other than the, you know, the born basic instinct, because instincts are taught to us, like the, the salmon spawning every year. Somebody had to teach one to go upstream. He taught another one, so on and so forth, throughout the thousands of years, and now this is what they do genetically. For thousands of years, we have been taught that our differences make us lesser or better than each other. But the passion that we have for the same uh, basic ideology makes us the same. Comfort, love, and respect. Should black people get less because they're different? Or oh, wait a minute, if we put it on a scale, a scale, the lighter you get, the better life should be for you, or the darker you get, the better life should be for you. I don't know. From everything I've ever seen, it goes from the bright all the way to the dark. It goes from the low to the high. See what I'm saying? So 
if color on a chart starts off at white and ends at black, then what should be on the top, the black or the white? Then you go back into the differences. Cleanliness is closely to godliness, right? Good and bad, right? Throughout the course of time, everything bad has been equated with the darkness. Darkness, also known as black. The black darkness of space is evil. See what I'm saying? The white wings of an angel will embrace you. So when you have built-in controls clicking on and off in your mind, I'm white. This guy's black. This guy's less. I'm better. These white people are going to fuck with me. Fuck that. I'm going to get him first. These ideologies have been taught and filtered in our minds. We're more likely to be the same because of our needs and our emotions than to be different because of your hair, my hair, your size of your feet, you know, the color of your eyes. You know. If you point out differences in people, you fail to acknowledge the parts of the individuals that are the same. In other words, you may be different, but I swear to God, when I look at your nose, you got two nostrils. When I look at your face, you got two eyeballs. I look at your head, you got two ears. So what's the difference? The color of your skin. And is that a difference at all? If you were stuck on an island for 10 years and shit, they had sun, you know, uh, eight months a year, you'd be as dark as me after about 20 years or 15 years. So life itself is funny. Those who came out of the darkness go into the light. Those who come from the light go into the dark. Any way you put it, there's night and day. There's white and black. There's good and bad. And that exists in each race on the planet. We are more alike than different. Like I said in the beginning, you love your mama. Sometimes you not might be happy with her, her actions. But you love your mother. A lot of people don't love their mother nowadays. And that part of America is, is sickening. We're going to get into that one day too. But um, I acknowledged you a long time ago. And this video might not even make it. Every time I show respect for people, especially people other than myself, the video is hacked. The video gets erased. If I go super ultra powerful because I know my words mean something to somebody, I am being played with, toyed with. See, that's the part about America that you don't understand. They pick and choose those of us who they want to shine. That's why they say Hollywood can make you and break you. And what's the difference now in Hollywood? Before, a black man couldn't be played by a black man in a movie. It had to be a white man to do it. Because a black man is not good enough to act like a black man. Or, since those movies were early in those days, maybe that black man didn't act as if somebody white wanted He didn't act like the white man wanted him to act and portraying a black man. So, so there you have it. We have been taught to exploit our differences and not to exploit our agreements. You know, we don't agree all the time, so we argue. And I'll allow that with the real AIX. And I'm I'm proud of you, man. You did a video and you walked down the middle of the street. The whole time you did this video, you walked down the middle of the street. I'm, I'm giving you an analogy right now. I know you're going to say, hey, I was not walking in the middle of the street during the video, but you walk down the middle of the street because people on both sides of the fence can understand this video if their mind isn't twisted and fucking blind. You walked down the middle of the road. You were halfway there. Now you know what you got to do to continue on this YouTube thing. If all you want to talk about race, then you walk down the middle of the road. That way you'll get a better debate. That way you won't have black people calling you a racist. That way you won't have white people saying this guy's a fucking idiot. That way you will be right down the middle of the road explaining things in a manner everyone can understand because we're all the same even in our differences. And you've been tubed.